hey guys welcome to my channel i'm shaz on the move i do lifestyle videos i'm currently living and working in thailand as a teacher and i share my experience in my videos i also share my christian work uh, my experience with god through, uh, through my videos uh fake i i call them faith talks so it's my last week it's my last week in thailand it's my last week in this school although the school doesn't know that yeah i haven't told them about it uh, my contract is set to expire in a month's time but uh i am leaving a month before that because I have to start preparing for my graduate school so I have a substitute teacher who's coming over the weekend and I'll be handing over my teaching staff and everything that pertains to the school to her um, I will inform the school then um, and then they can now transition with her when I've left I have mixed feelings this this morning and throughout this process especially from yesterday because I should be packing I should be winding down but I found it so difficult to do that yesterday I really actually forced myself to do it I don't know why I'm really struggling with this um, but uh, another thing is also I'm just currently recovering from a flu uh, it was really bad especially over the weekend it affected my worship night sessions and so uh, I'm, I'm trying to get back on track but in, in all we give thanks I give thanks to God for another day for this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it yes guys I'm looking forward to doing the last classes this week uh, as much as the people don't know about it, I will do it with so much enthusiasm uh, because I know I will not be doing it again in quite a while. Um, so today, I, today is a very busy day for me because for my graduate school, we start enrolling today. Mondays is usually very busy for me because I have six lessons, six hours of classes and yeah. Also, I've just been matched by a guy. No, I've been matched. I don't know how to put this. You know the dating process where you meet someone or you are match made by, with someone. So we are in the talking stage. It's that's why I'm saying I have so many things going on. I have mixed feelings about everything. So we'll compartmentalize that in this video. So I'm going to talk about my my exit process. I'm going to talk about my new my new match. Yeah. So guys, stay tuned. It's going to be an interesting video as I share my day my my day with you. Yeah. Welcome to my video. I don't know if it's about the festival. I don't know but uh, I know I showed up for this first class but this is a class I am used to it they are skippers they are perennial class skippers they don't uh, attend class they only do the first few weeks and then after that they are very consistent in not coming to class we'll only find one student or two coming but today I'm guessing it's because of this festival that they didn't come but there's no one in my class today so let me give you a recap of my weekend um so there's this lady she has a son in this school he's in junior high year one and she's uh she's also a teacher so i met her a while back uh from my cycling group they had a dinner and when we went to the dinner that's where i met her and then she told me she's an english teacher and she'd love it for me to come for her extra classes to just see how she does it and maybe just help her out in terms of um, english conversation yeah so this weekend i went and spent the saturday and sundays with her uh, she was teaching kids around the neighborhood and might I might say 
she her classes must be very popular because there are so many kids yeah on on saturday about 30 kids came on sunday about 20 kids came and it was an interesting experience uh teaching uh children between the ages of four and 12. i mean compared to what i do on a daily basis uh, teaching high schoolers this was a welcome change I especially loved teaching the kindergartners. You know what's so special about kindergartners is their see and do perspective, where whatever you do is whatever they do. What they see you do it, they do it. So if you sleep, you sleep, they sleep. If you talk, they talk. If you, you know, whatever you tell them, they do. It's so easy to mold them. I think in terms of teaching language, it's so easy to teach them languages because they grasp it, they are willing to learn. They are at that stage where they've not formed opinions about things, yeah? And whatever is presented to them is what they take and absorb. And it was amazing, amazing to teach them. In fact, even that lady was telling me that she could see how happy I was when I was interacting with the kindergartners. If I had had that opportunity to teach kindergartners in Thailand, Wow, I don't know, I don't know, but it's just amazing teaching kids the ages between four and six years, yeah? Those ones are the ones I spend the most time with over the weekend, and it was a lovely, lovely experience. Also, remember I had told you about our clubs and the way nobody signed up for our clubs, not actually nobody, just one student signed up for our clubs. So, um... With this student, she had to just go and look for another club she can join because you can't, a club can't have only one person. So that, this past Friday, I spent it with another English teacher in my department and most of the students in that club are in junior high. You know, I teach senior high, so I have experience with senior high. Senior high students know me because I've spent time with them. Well, junior high, on the other hand, don't know me, I've not taught them, I've not spent any time with them. So they are really curious to find out about me, about my age, about my family, where I come from, my country. They had so many questions to ask me, I, which brought me to just think that these kids have so much to ask, but they can't, first of all, because of the language barrier. In fact, the teacher was telling me during the class, like she was pointing out some students that this girl and this girl and this girl they really want to talk to you but they are shy yeah they are shy to come and speak to me and it's because of the language barrier so they had that opportunity to ask me about uh, about myself my family uh, where i come from my favorite food i guess they enjoyed that session and i'm gonna be sharing a few slides from there in this uh, hey guys, it's another day. I'm counting down. It's now seven days before I leave the school and I want to explain why I'm leaving earlier than anticipated also a month earlier before my contract. So in Thailand when you are a foreigner, there is something called a 90-day notification that you are supposed to do every 90 days to inform immigration that you are staying um, another 90 days if you plan to stay in thailand for more than 90 days every 90 days you need to notify immigration so um, my 90 day notification first of all ends on january 28th now that's one reason the second reason is i need to get to australia so that i can set myself up to start working although my visa condition is that i cannot work when i'm not in school but i still need to do trainings i also need to get registered i need to get police clearance and all these things take a few weeks uh, before you before they can get activated. So that's why I'm going at least a month earlier so that when the time I start school, that's in uh, February, then I'll be ready, I'll be work ready, you know? 
instead of me leaving here in January and then not be work ready by the time I start uh, I start my graduate program so that is one of the reasons why I'm leaving early the other reason is um, so the other reason is um, my contract expires on 31st of January so if I stay here past the 28th it means I need to do another 90 day notification which I don't intend to stay here and then uh, if I leave past the 28th of January I will be penalized which will not look good for my visa status that's one and also my travel history like I will have an overstay in my records when it comes to Thailand meaning the next time I come here I'll have trouble so it's just safer if I leave earlier also uh, my contract says I need to give them three months notice so being that my contract expires in one month I think it's the best time for me to leave to give them a month to just prepare and not have expectations of me coming back yeah so those are the reasons why I am exiting early but key among them is just for me to go and get myself ready for work on the other side I'm done with today's lessons there are not so many but one of my most difficult classes is today and I'm done with it. I've actually finished it about 10 minutes earlier than usual. Now, I want to talk about my match. Uh, I call him a match because I don't, know, I don't know how else to describe the current situation we are in because my friend, my close friend, I want to say she's my friend because if I continue to describe this further, She'll figure out, or anyone else who's watching might figure out. Okay, so she linked us up. The guy's in Australia, and uh, well, there's so much to unpack about this match. Uh, and then there are so many lessons I'm also learning in my faith work uh, regarding dating and the list. You know, I wrote down a list of the ideal kind of man that I'd love God to give me and and then I stumbled upon this video that was saying you just need to throw away your list because your list is is just your list that's it yeah does it also encompass God's list for you uh, is this person uh, in your list I, I also just realized I didn't ask God for a man who will love me get it who will love me the way God wants him to love me I didn't ask him that but I realized that last week and so hence I added that to my list and then I also realized there's a lot I need to unlearn as in yes this season was for healing and also giving me lessons in terms of dating and relationships but I still think there's so much to learn you can only learn so much during a span maybe of a year when God separated me and uh, I got this time to just heal and prepare myself for my next season so this guy this guy the only thing that he has on that list is yes hi the only thing that he has on that list is um what does he have the only thing that he has on that list is let me see his love for god imagine his love for god the rest i don't know man that's what i'm saying i'm not really sure no, not that I'm not sure. Yes, I'm not sure because I've not even met the guy. Let's just start from there. But for now, since we've been matched and we kind of like each other, we'll see how it goes. That's all I can say for now. But my lesson and my point here is your list sometimes you will wait to hear God's answer to know if your list is according to God's list and also in your list is it what God wants for you 
So those are the things that I didn't take into account when I was writing my list. When I was writing my list, I was just writing my list. I was just writing what my ideal guy would me would be, and then I'd be excited about it. I'd sit down and manifest and think about it and get happy. But is your list what God wants? Because the guy who's being revealed to me only just has one quality the rest i'd have to continue getting to know him better and spending time with him i guess and then also when we meet then uh, i guess the other things on the list also i'll be able to check it out but for now i'm only seeing one thing but also that one thing is one of the most important things is one of the most important things on my list. A man who's after God's heart. A man who loves God. A man who's not ashamed to worship God. There's such few men who can do that out here. Such few men. And he does that so openly and so well. Yeah, so that's about my match. And guys, we are going to Australia and I can't wait to meet him. I also can't wait to take you guys along this journey of discovery with me.